After months of delay, Michelle Bachelet's report on the situation of Uyghurs in China came on her final day as UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. The extent of arbitrary and discriminatory detention of members of Uyghur and other predominantly Muslim groups may constitute international crimes, in particular crimes against humanity. The 50-page document denounces serious human rights violations against the Muslim minority, citing what it says are credible allegations of torture. It also calls for the rapid release of detainees from re-education centers. Beijing rejects the report as a farce. This report is a collection of misinformation that serves as a political tool for the U.S. and the West to strategically use Xinjiang to contain China. The document follows a heavily supervised visit by Bachelet to Xinjiang last May. At the time, she was criticized for appearing too conciliatory towards the Chinese authorities. Ahead of its release, the diplomat spoke about intense pressure she had faced both from those calling for its publication and those against it. You cannot imagine the numbers of letters, meetings, but I will not publish or withhold publication due to any such pressure. Rights groups have broadly praised the report, though it stopped short of using the term genocide, an accusation made by several Western nations. To allege genocide, the UN would need to prove intent. And that's really difficult. It's really difficult to prove. At least one million Uyghurs are believed to have been held in detention centres, which Beijing claims are vocational training centres.